guys and thank you so much for watching my videos now i am super excited because i do have a large dollar tree haul for you guys a lot of new items folded into the dollar tree and i did wasn't able to pick up everything i wanted to there were so many new items definitely check out my dollar tree walkthrough i go over a lot more items that i just was if it just wasn't in the cards it just wasn't in the budget don't have the room and i was like i'm going I'm only going to pick up stuff i know for sure i'm going to use so if you are new to my channel welcome don't forget to hit that like subscribe and notification bell so you never miss an episode if you entered for that gift card giveaway and bonus prizes we're going to announce a winner at the end of this video so make sure you watch this video to its entirety so you can claim your prize so let's go ahead and jump right in okay guys so I'm just gonna jump right in I'm gonna try to start with essentials but I know there's stuff mixed in here a big bag full of stuff the first thing I picked up were some wet wipes these are the antibacterial 40 pre moistened antibacterial wipes I did pick up four. the limit at my uh, Dollar Tree is no limit on the wipes anymore they don't have a limit on them you can pick up as many as you want I picked up four because um, not for me I have plenty um, I have plenty for your guys' giveaway but I did notice a friend of mine on Facebook had said she couldn't find any wipes or anything um in her in her location and i'm like you know what i'll just have um amanda drop these off to you so i picked her up four so she has something she is a high risk um senior so i want to make sure she's covered so i told her i would grab those for her as well um the next thing i picked up was i did pick up the um hand sanitizers now i bit i think i picked up four no, I only picked up three guys. This is just for my personal stock um, for your guys' giveaway. I picked up some last week for your guys' giveaway, but I'm like, this is something that's gonna be a staple. And since I do so many giveaways, I'm like, let me go ahead and grab an extra three just in case. I know right now, guys, if you can stock up because, you know, right now we're not in flu season, but it's gonna come rearing its ugly head come October. November time and this stuff might you know sell out again you never know it's always good to have it in your stock and two for a dollar is actually a pretty decent deal compared to what we were paying for it when COVID hit like this stuff was impossible to find so definitely stock up if you can I know a lot of stores are getting them in so I picked up one in the regular Perel this is like as like compared to Perel hand sanitizer it does have 70% alcohol in it and you do get two two fluid ounce bottles. Um, I picked up one in the lavender and vitamin E, and then I picked up one in the lemon scented. So great deal for a dollar. So I picked up three. Um, I also picked up for the lady, for Amanda to drop off, I picked her up two of the bigger bottles of hand sanitizer. Since she's home, she doesn't really need the travel ones. She's not leaving her home. Everything's being delivered. Even though in California, we are, I believe we're on stage three now. If I'm mistaken, let me know in the comment section. A lot of stores are open. Like, I believe our malls are starting to open. Um, hair salons are open. The only thing that isn't really open is still nail salons. Like, every nail salon is still closed. But pretty much everything is more or less open or it's about to open. So I did pick up two. These are the eight fluid ounces pure compared to Purell hand sanitizer for her just so she has them. So pick those two up for her. The next thing I found, and I was so excited to find these because I think these are so cute. These are the sip and relax and soothing little cups. Um, these are so cute and they're new to me at my Dollar Tree. They had them in different colors, but I love these two colors, like a summer color for the RV. So that's what I picked them up for. My husband, you know, he drinks coffee like a crazy person. So we have a coffee maker in the RV and I'd rather have him using these cups um, rather than the ceramic ones or the glass ones or the coffee cups because he breaks them. He's clumsy. He doesn't, he says he's not, but he is, he really is. So, okay. So actually I picked up three for the lady. So picked her up three. Her name is Gail, you guys are wondering. Um, the next thing I picked up was this right here. This is the floral infused roll-on perfume. I like smelled it. I think it smells really good. It has like a florally scent. <laughs> Duh, it says floral infused roll on, but it's not like overpowering. It's just a really nice soft scent. I would not consider this summer. I would think this is more of a fall scent, but I'm like, you know what? In a pinch, you can leave this in the car and if you don't have anything and you're feeling like you need a little refresher, I mean, I, I like it. I was, I was really surprised by the scent. I really like it. It's like, it smells like flowers. Okay, I'm gonna continue now. 
Uh, I'm wide awake, guys. I p did pick up a travel disinfectant for her just in case. She goes in her car. She does go out. She got one. So I picked up one. They only had one. Picked that up for her. Now, they did have some new face masks, guys. So I did pick up um, this Yes to Cucumbers. They also had the Simple, which is really weird because sometimes they have that at the 99. Um, they had the Simple Sensitive Skin Kind to Skin Distress Sheet Mask. And then they also had this Yes to Clear Skin DIY Powder to Clay Mask. Sometimes they have the Yes to Mask, sometimes they don't. I was surprised they had them. Hadn't had them in a while, so I did pick up these three. Future giveaways, you guys know I have ultra sensitive skin. I can't wear these, but I'm obsessed with masks. I don't know why. I, I think it's because I can't wear them or I can't use them. And I'm like, I really like them, but I know I can't use them because my skin will break out in a rash. But I'm like, you guys, there's... I gonna share the love you guys can definitely use them that's what I that's what I think this I picked up for a friend because I knew she would like this this is the magnetic planner with the sloth on it I swear she's gonna be so sick of sloths it's because I got her like the sloth phone case I got her I got her all kinds of stuff but anyways this is Monday through Sunday she can hang it on her fridge it is magnetic isn't this adorable with a little sloth on it and you get a little pen to go with it so this of course is a dollar at the Dollar Tree I picked that up for her now I've said this before guys, My the nail shops are closed out here. They've been closed now for three months. I finally broke down and bought a nail drill and acrylic stuff and I've been trying to do my own nails and I've been loving it. So um, I've been playing with the powders. There's clear powder, there's pink powder, there's bright pink powder, there's all kinds of stuff. Like I'm like, so um, instead of like investing that $45 every other week, I spent a couple bucks and I invested on some nail stuff. So I got these three piece beauty jars to hold the powders. So if I want to do a white powder or a pink powder or try a different powder, they can be in here. I don't like using it directly from the actual jar because I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. So I did pick up a three piece this, one of these for my little nail section, which is kind of cool. If you ever saw my um, closet tour, you know, I have like this display like they do at the beauty salon of all the nail polishes. And I'm like, yeah, I never use it because I go to the nail salon now, but now I'm using it. So I'm excited about that. And um, yeah, I've been excited about, you know, playing with it. I was playing with this color. Uh, it's kind of like, mm, I might change it guys. I'm not very much of like, I'm not a very good nail polisher. Like I don't have the patience for it. I can polish them, they'll look perfect, but I can't sit there and let them dry. It drives me crazy. It's like I can be doing so many other things rather than them drying. So the next th phase is like learning how to do the gel thing. That's on the list. Next thing I found were these, and I thought these were pretty cool. So I got one for Kara, and I got one for Amanda. They've been on this roller skating thing. I don't think I'm ever gonna get my roller skates back. Like she kind of admitted she's not giving them back, and I'm I'm feeling some kind of way because mine are like the OG like lace up skates, you know, like the old old school skates. I had them forever, and they're suede and they're beautiful. And I'm like, yeah, you can go ahead and use them. I haven't seen them since. But at the same time, I'm kind of scared to start roller skating because I'm like, if I fall and break something, how long is the recovery time and how much is that going to hurt? So I haven't been roller skating, but at the same time, I'm jealous because she is because I used to love to do that. Anywho, I bought them these. These are stainless, um, eco-friendly, BPA and felfalate free. Um, water bottles and they're stainless steel. I figured they can put this in their backpacks. I got one for Kara cause she's very girly and then the blue <laughs> one's for Amanda cause she's, she's not as girly as Kara. So I got them these, they both have been roller skating and going out to the beach and having a good time and doing that. And I'm like, okay, I'll get those for you. The next thing I picked up were these uh, koala socks cause these are just absolutely adorable and I could not resist. Aren't these cute? Look at the little koala. And Penny destroys my socks. As you guys know, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do have a Chorky. She's half your half Chihuahua, half Yorkie. Um, I'll try to split screen her. I think I have a picture of her with my socks. She has like a pile of them underneath the coffee table and I can never get them back. And when I do, they have little holes in them. So always stocking up on socks. So I picked that up. I did find this at Dollar Tree and this is by Rabbit Skin. Look this up online. It's like $7.57 or $4.57 to order online. Super soft, guys. 18 months. I figured somebody's going to have a baby. I, I know it. I, I can feel it. Somebody's going to have a baby and I'm going to be scrambling for baby shower gifts and at least I have a start. So I picked up one in Burgundy just in case. It happens to me every year. Somebody's like, I'm going to have a baby and I'm like, oh. Yay, I'm happy for you. Now I gotta get a gift together. So I try to at least have a little bit of items here. So then if I, you know, 
somebody does have a baby, I'm already kind of set. So I don't have to spend too much money at the store. Um, as I mentioned many times, you're probably sick of it. Grandbabies are coming. They'll be here in three weeks. Super excited. So I did pick up the make your own pencil toppers and the make your own bouncy balls. This is going to go in their little craft box, which is full. Um, they'll be here for like a week. So I figured they're going to need little activities and yeah, so they can do these while they're here. And so I picked these two up for them. Excited about that for them. I'm excited they're coming and excited that, you know, I get to like spend time with them and do little crafty stuff. Now I did pick up four of these guys, but two of them I already have in blessing bags. They're already pre-made, bagged up and they are in the garage. So um, we are doing a give back day next Thursday and I did pick up four of these. Two of these are already used. Um, this is the Cool Melon Scented Dermasil Body Wash. Didn't even know Dermacil made body wash. And this is a sweet cherry scented Dermacil body wash. Dermacil is sold at um, Walmart and it's kind of pricey. So for a dollar, and they smell really good. The cherry one smells good. And Dermacil is great for sensitive skin. I kind of wanted to keep it, but I have a ton of body wash that I still need to go through. I actually need to go through my stock back here, guys. That's my keep section in case you guys were ever wondering, um, you know, like, why is that never depleted? It's kind of my keep section. Um, eventually, I'll go through it and then I'll just slash it in half and donate the rest because I'm not going to use all that stuff. It's just me and my mother-in-law and Amanda. My neighbors sometimes come over, friends, family, things like that. But, you know, probably, what are we in? June. I'd say by August, I'll go ahead and it's mid year or maybe next. Well, then we are in mid year June. So maybe I'll go through it and I'll just put some stuff out and uh, donate it at my next give back day. So, and a lot of the stuff back there that you're seeing, like the shampoos and conditioner, I just want to explain this shampoos and conditioner, they're all pushed forward. It's empty in the back. I should show you guys, but it's empty in the back and everything's pushed forward. So it doesn't look like I have empty shelves back there, but a lot of it did go. This smells good in the give back day bag. So if you're wondering, I do run a nonprofit. I will be having a give back day on next Thursday in San Bernardino. We're going to be giving back to the community and giving them um, toiletry bags and food bags. And we're going to have clothes. We're going to make like a little shop so they can come in and shop and get what they need. Okay. I did pick up, how many of these did I pick up? Um, I think I picked up like maybe another 10. I was short. I made 30 bags. So I picked up 10 of these. I just kept one out to show you guys. These are the Nivea Filming Silk Mousse Body Wash. There's a ton of them. They had the raspberry scent. They had the regular Nivea. They had the Nivea um, cream. They had this one. So they had a ton of them at my Dollar Tree. So if you're looking for them, definitely keep an eye out. They are bringing them back um, with a vengeance. I don't know if it's because this, maybe this product didn't do as well. I have no idea, but you know what? A lot of people really enjoy this. Um, I can't use it. It's a little too harsh for my skin. It's weird. Cause I can use the other Nivea body wash, but this one's a little too harsh. So, but it is a great product. I'm not saying it's bad. I just can't use it. The next thing I picked up and I've been washing my own car cause got to save those pennies. Um, I'm washing my own car. And so I needed more stuff. So I bought a car wash for myself all purpose armor all and then the extreme tire shine um sometimes i'll go to the car wash and actually i need to do that because i need them to do the inside of the windows for some reason i can't do it if you guys have any suggestions on like how to make it like not streaky and gross it looks fine during the day but when i drive somewhere at night i'm like oh my gosh i can't see because it's like all streaky i don't know what i'm doing wrong let me know post a comment in the comment section should i not be using windex what should i be using to clean the windows in my car Ask your husband. Let me know. My husband's not here. He's on his man trip. So pick these two up. I'm probably just going to use it next treatment on my car. Um, the next thing I picked up were two of these RT roller um, gel ball pens. I just wanted to try them out. For some reason, I have pens everywhere and I can't find a pen. So I have pens in here, but I don't like any of them. So I'm going to use these. So I picked these up. Not bad for a dollar. And the last thing I picked up, guys, was I picked up these adorable candles. I figure I'm going to use them and um, I'm going to be speaking. I, I haven't gotten my date yet. Um, I'm going to a teen challenge in Los Angeles and we're going to, you know, and, you know, just uplift and inspire these women and kind of like, you know, other women are coming with me and we're going to share our, our life stories, like how we got from where we are now, where we, we were in the past to where we are now and letting them know that we all have struggles. We all struggle with all kinds of things in our lives and we don't let that define who we are. We 
pick ourselves up and we, you know, make our lives better. So we kind of, you know, try to empower and encourage these women. So um, I decided I'm going to go ahead. I picked this up for my friend who loves sloths, but I'm going to go ahead and use the rest. So this one says no hurries, no worries. It's so cute. It has a little sloth in it. You can hear Daisy. She's waking up. So this one has a little sloth in it. She's snoozed. It's like past noon. Huh, Miss Daisy? And this one says life is sweet. Don't worry. Be happy. Do not worry. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So this one has a donut. This one has the little um, ice cream cone. And this one says love grows here. Adorable. So yeah, guys. That is everything that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. They had a lot of new items, but I was not gonna go crazy. Um, I'm trying my best to like, you know, just get items that I know for sure I'm going to either donate or use right away. Like the goal is um, to start depleting my stock and getting rid of items so I can get blessed more and have more items float in. So that is my haul for today. If you entered for that gift card giveaway, we're gonna go ahead and announce the winner right now i am on the video with the giveaway and we are going to copy the url and we are going to paste it oh that'd be nice if i clicked on the random oh, here we go we're going to paste it on the youtube random picker and we're going to filter out any duplicate entries like i always said guys if you don't win don't worry i'm always doing dollar tree gift card giveaways because i appreciate you guys sticking around and watching liking and commenting so it's so appreciated i do have an awesome subscriber appreciation giveaway going on right now it has over 275 dollars worth of merchandise so i highly recommend you click on that and enter to win it's an amazing giveaway that you're not going to want to miss so let's go ahead and pick a winner. Go ahead and press the start button. Like I always say, I wish you all the best of luck. And the winner is Ginger Clark. Always love your videos. Brightens my day. In times like these, we need unity and compassion throughout our communities. You can never know who's having a bad day and one smile can change their life. Positivity is the world's healing potion. Hoping timing of hoping the timing of events change for better and we all come together have a blessed day i love that congratulations ginger you are the winner of the dollar tree gift card and those amazing bonus prizes please email me my email address is always in the description box or you can direct message me on instagram so i can get your prize out um you still have a couple hours before the post office close if not i can get it out to you on monday everybody please wish ginger a huge congratulations now i hope you guys are having a fabulous blessed day thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and remember if you like these videos please remember to like subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode and i i'm gonna be talking to you guys real soon thank you so much for watching bye